a police brutality that has been witnessed during the enforcement of COVID-19 containment measures features top in the human rights abuse cases reported to the Kenya National Commission on Human Rights since the first case of coronavirus was reported in the country. Also on the list is the recent evictions and demolitions in Nairobi, forming the 149 cases reported to the human rights body. Brian Otieno with that story. Since the onset of the COVID-19 containment measures, several injustices have been meted on Kenyans by government agencies. This is according to the Kenya National Commission on Human Rights, KNHCR, which has received 149 cases so far, chief among the injustices being police brutality that has characterized the enforcement of the dusk to dawn curfew. Uh, the citizens have uh, been victims of uh, police excesses and uh, of course with this uh, documentation we as a commission uh, we will pursue uh, you know redress for those violations on those affect affected uh, uh, victims but according to the human rights body brutality has not been the end of the transgressions of which the police have been accused and we've documented uh, a lot of cases where the police have turned the, the police stations into extortion, extortion dens. And uh, for you to be released, you have to uh, give from 3,000 to 7,000. Such extortion blamed on the downscaling of court sessions with the police tasked with handling minor legal disputes. Police were recently on the spot for aiding the violation of the cessation of movement into and out of Isili in Nairobi by demanding bribes from would-be violators. And according to the commission, recent demolitions across Nairobi that rendered many families homeless, the latest happening in Rai, sound an alarm on impunity. You are very much aware that uh, even the court sat on a Sunday and put on hold the impending evictions. So, but then you realize the evictions actually went on um, the, the following day on a Monday. And as an institution, we therefore moved, uh, you know, to court for contempt. The findings were revealed as KNHCR received a donation of 50 million shillings from the European Union to boost its human rights efforts. Excess force from police, uh, tragic deaths, but there is a redress mechanism available. And this is precisely what this grant today uh, is about. Brian Utieno, KTN News. Moving on, a month after.